Have you ever seen George Washington in his Freemasonic regalia? Obviously this is a painting, but he was a well-known Mason. Up top it says Washington as a Freemason. There's a number of things going on here that I would like to acknowledge. As an example, let's notice the twin pillars, the faint seven stars on the right hand side, and the letter G. But the main thing I want to talk about today is the wedge that you can see up top in this arch. This is known as the keystone. Let me show you a couple more examples where you'll see this keystone. So here you can see this arch going from one pillar to the other, and above where the keystone would be is an eye. This would be the eye of God, and he is looking through where the wedge would have been down at the scene below. And so the keystone in this instance is missing, but notice that there is light shining through that gap. Here's a book cover called The Royal Arch. You will see that keystone up top once again with the circle and the letters. Here's another example. You see light shining through where the keystone would be. And this keystone has been shown in many different ways. So here as an example, there is a beehive in the middle of the keystone. And here you can see a pin that represents the keystone. It says, let there be light. It's referring to the light shining from the heavens through that hole. And this is where things start to get really interesting. And it speaks to why I'm even talking about this to begin with. But notice that around the scene, there is the zodiac wheel. And where the keystone would be is right in between where Gemini and Cancer is. Here's another example of the two pillars and the royal arch. And right in the middle where the keystone is, is labeled Cancer. So there's actually a relationship with this keystone and Cancer. This is really important stuff. Here you can see why Cancer is depicted as being the top of the arch, because what they're really showing is the beginning of three of the four seasons. So Aries begins spring, Cancer begins summer, and then we have Libra, which begins the fall. Here they're very explicit that Cancer represents the keystone. Notice that there's seven stars beneath the keystone. This is symbolic for a lot of different reasons. The letter G, by the way, as an example, is the seventh letter of the alphabet, which I think is interesting. And the major arcana card that corresponds with Cancer is the chariot card, which is the seventh card of the major arcana. And then also, most of Cancer takes place during the seventh month, which is July. Here's another wedge. Notice that the wedge at the very top has the letter Chet. This is C-H-E-T, this is a Hebrew letter. It's really interesting, this letter symbolically represents a handful of things, including a canopy or an enclosure, an inner space. And when you have this royal arch motif that is bridging the gap between these two pillars, you are kind of making a similar shape, right? You can see that, that the left side of this letter could be symbolically the left pillar, the right side could be symbolically the right pillar, Boaz and Joaquin, and the very top could be this canopy or symbolic arch. Well, it turns out that this canopy can be seen in a few different places, including traditional wedding canopies. And traditional wedding canopies have four pillars to them. This is a traditional Jewish wedding canopy, but you will see that this motif is kind of echoed in a lot of traditions. As an example, you see it in the chariot card as well. So you see the four pillars or posts, and up top, you can see this canopy. And to the lower left, you will see this letter, Chet. And, you know, I just think it's fascinating that this letter is associated with this keystone, which is associated with cancer. It corresponds with the chariot card, and then you actually literally see the canopy above the charioteer's head. And where the keystone would be, you see the crab. And here you see the canopy once again. And there's actually a symbolic arch on the charioteer's head, right? And where the keystone would be, you see that star. In my opinion, this is symbolic of the North Star. Here's another example. The chariot card has this canopy motif. It has the four pillars or posts. And down below it also has the alternative hermetic title, Lord of the Triumph of Light. This is the light that's shining through Cancer. This is the symbolic overlap. This is the correspondence between Royal Arch Freemasonry, the keystone, the light that shines through, the number seven, the chariot card, and the Hebrew letter that associates all of this together. Well, remember I showed you the keystone and there's a beehive within it. Well, this keystone is symbolic of Cancer and it's really interesting that within the constellation of Cancer, you have the beehive cluster. 
And as you can see, this is really a complete system that's linking all of these various symbols together. And what it really speaks to is this older belief that cancer was known as the gateway of man, meaning that we enter into this reality, into this realm via cancer and we exit via Capricorn. This is an older Babylonian belief and you guys can do research on it. It's a really fascinating concept when you really think about it. But for now, I just felt like I would introduce this idea and let you know that it relates to Royal Arch Freemasonry and the symbols that are associated with that system, including the keystone. And I just find this all fascinating. So I wanted to share this before the end of cancer. As always, I would love to know what you think. Thanks.